so welcome to part four so with this we're going to be looking at this part the datum is obviously going to be the, the big circle that makes the big boss bit in the middle so we'll draw that from the top but we're not going to draw it as hollow because we'll use that hollowing out feature later this has an outside diameter of 150 just going to draw that, extrude it by 140 symmetrically because there's a lot of symmetrical things going on here and then we're going to put this 90 degree bracket that comes out of here now we can draw that on the front plane put the dimensions in there. So if we draw it like this then we'll keep it constrained to the centre and then use a corner rectangle to come down here. Oops, wrong button. We'll scissor out the bits we don't need. Now, let's get the dimensions right. From here to the centre is going to be the 120 plus the 75, which is 195. The thickness of this is 40, it doesn't say otherwise so we'll assume it's constant cross section. Notice through using the centre rectangle when I hit 40 then it expanded from both sides symmetrically which is really useful. And then this is still shown as blue just because it needs dimensioning here, 150. And then there's a radius of 20 there, let's put that in while we're in the drawing. Extrude. Expand it out to symmetrically. So this can be the width of the circle, which is 150. Now the next step is to bore this out, but also we need to put a hole here. And actually there's no reason we can't do those in the same operation. So let's try and cut the number of drawings down and sketch here. They've both got to go through a wall, so it can be done the same. And then we've got another circle, which is here somewhere. 50mm diameter. And distance. Oops. Dimension. Is 110. Now we've got both of those there and we're going to extrude them both symmetrically. Remove symmetrical that's drawn both with the same drawing there. And that's that part complete.